Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm ready to do another quickie session. I think that's 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 probably what I'm going to do at least for the next uh, session or two. Is I'm just going to do these quickie sessions. I I really don't um I really don't have as much time as I used to. I I know I mentioned it in a uh, previous previous video, but I work two jobs. Um, I work two jobs, and I also go to school full time. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot of time. I don't have as much time as I had when I first started this. I really was not anticipating that, um, this playthrough would do so well. I was expecting it would do as well as all of my other ones, which, they, they didn't really go that well. I mean, the, the people that did watch it, I really, really appreciate it. Um, but I'm really, really, really surprised at how well this one is doing, so... Um, but like I said, I, I don't really have as much time as I had when I first started doing this. I wasn't expecting this to, um, to receive as much support as it has. So I, I am willing to keep playing it, because I know that you guys are still watching it out there. Um, but I'll do these quickie sessions. That's what I'll do. I'll play for an hour here, um, in real time, and then that'll do it. So that way I make sure that I don't get too far ahead of you guys. I would used to play for like two hours or cr some crazy fucking bullshit like that, but... But I want to, I, I, first of all, it's because I don't have as much time as I used to, and second of all, it's because I don't want to get too far ahead of you guys, because you guys always notice stuff that I don't notice when I'm actually playing the game, and you leave the comments and tips and tricks, and I appreciate the tips and tricks, and I want to make sure that, um, that I'm, I'm able to utilize them, and that means that I'm not, like, 17 videos ahead of you guys, so I'm gonna try and stay a little bit closer to you guys, and uh, we'll do it by doing these quickie sessions. So I've got my phone right here in my lap. I was looking at the time. Let's go for it. Let's head to not the Bakersfield Zoo. Oh yes. Oh yes. That is the stuff right there. We can look at these penguins. Although um, in reality, this game, this game has ruined penguins for me because these fucking penguins, Dromedary Camel 5 is not contained. Are you fucking kidding me? Why does this keep happening? Why does this keep happening? You should make larger exhibits and hire more zookeepers. That way you won't have to get rid of animals as often, and it might be easier for the zookeepers to reach animals if there is more space, and maybe animals will escape their enclosures less because they aren't being pushed out by other animals or objects. I don't really know why animals keep escaping, though. God damn, I was just about to talk about how upset I am by the penguins because the penguins are always shitting all over the place and the penguins are always like, when I'm not looking, they're soaring up sky high in the air and then landing down on the sidewalk, terrorizing people. They've got this medium ice flow, which is actually gigantic and there's no, there's no option for a small ice flow, not yet. Um, Dromedary Camel 5 is not contained, I, I promise you. I prom- I promise you, he's just doing a little running, man. All right, that's cool. Way to go. All right, so, um, I think, uh... Oh, common p 17 is just hatched. I saw the, um, I saw the sunbeams. The sunbeams that let me know that there's a, uh, a, a little cheeky poo. I'm trying to rotate. I'm trying to rotate, but I've stuck on this fuck. There we go. Let's take a look at the cheeky poo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's spectacular. That's spectacular. Now, that... That is the kind of site that makes being a big zoo boss all worthwhile. Um, you know, a lot of times in the morning I'll be putting on my tuxedo, and of course I'll be misbuttoning it so that it's kind of misaligned and it looks really hilarious. And I'll be putting on my flapping dicky, and I'll just look at myself in the mirror and go, Why? Why do I... Gimsbach one is now pregnant, guests are thirsty. Why do I do this? Why do I subject myself to to beaming down um, from my mothership to go clean up penguin shit and put penguin shit inside my pockets even though I have like 13 zookeepers that could all be doing this right now, but they're not. They're not because they're all canoodling. But it is it is when I see um, baby peacocks. Oh, look, I'm doing a sneak groom. I'm doing a sneak groom. Oh, let me see if I can do a sneak groom on this guy. Oh, I saw a, a bird poop. Okay, there we go. Let's do, I'm gonna do a sneak groom. Sneak groom from the other side of the fence. Oh, yes, you motherfuckers. Never saw it coming. And, and of course, that is another thing. Oh, hi. Hi, how long have you been here? 
<laughs> just kind of scooting around, huh? Fantastic. Thank you so much. I um, and you know what? Since you're here and it's your job to do that, how about you um, maybe you could remember to top off their food the next time. How about that? I I actually do not remember. Is that the East Side King? I think that might be the East Side King. Let's just say that's the East Side King. Okay, beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's 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 times like that. Um, that make being a big zoo boss worthwhile. And of course also, um, being able to facilitate um, true love. The true love that Sandra Slow and Steady and every other employee has. Unfortunately, Sandra Slow and Steady is not there right now. Let's check her other... Nope, she's actually not there either. All right, fine. I guess we're finally, we're finally getting Sandra Slow and Steady busy, getting down and dirty. But yeah, Sandra Slow and Steady has, of course, um, fallen in and out of love with every single person that works at this fucking zoo. Uh, and it's heartwarming. I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to facilitate that. Oh shit, I forgot that I made this Gimsbach exhibit um, immersive. We haven't checked out the the full immersion Gimsbach experience over here yet. Hey, watch out, pal. Hey, look, Gimsbach. Gonna go, are you gonna immerse yourself? Hell yeah, bitch, let's immerse ourselves together. Yes. Yes, rub your chin, rub your chin thoughtfully with your weird little mitten hands. Man, those Gimsbach are going nuts. One of them is pregnant. I'm not sure they should be, like, gallivanting around like that, you know? I, I, you know, oh, hey, look, and your friend with the same haircut has showed up. Oh, and he's also rubbing his, oh, there's Sandra Slow and Steady. What the hell were you doing, Sandra Slow and Steady? I guess she must have been cleaning out this, um, new, um, the new northern slash western promenade because I always thought that this was, like, the northern part of the zoo, but... Build playground statues, fountains, and kiosks to amuse guests. What do you think I've been doing this entire time? Um, and of course, looking at that, I completely lost my train of thought because it upset me so much. Fantastic. All right. So what, what, what my idea, what I want to do is I want to have different hemispheres, right? I want each hemisphere to have its own little promenade. So this is the southern hemisphere with Maya Hem Temple. I want to have a northern hemisphere up there by the s safari zone. And then I want to have a western hemisphere and an eastern hemisphere. Um, regrettably, there's only like two different themes, isn't there? <laughs> there's safari and jungle. Is that it? Is that all we're going to get? That kind of sucks. Guests love your zoo. Hell yeah, they do. Common P. Fountain is in a really dirty exhibit. You son of a bitch. You fucking son of a bitch. Where are the zookeepers? Am I gonna have to hire? Oh, there's a zookeeper right fucking here. Why did I even bother to beam down? Of course you're not, to... oh look, and there's a second zookeeper. Yeah, the second the fucking boss shows up, the sec, oh, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, you better run. You better get the fuck out of here. I'm like so mad that I'm so mad that my dicky is just like flapping at three at like 370,000 miles an hour. It's it's my dicky is flapping so hard that it is like generating it is generating steam. It is turning the air itself into steam uh, by how rapidly my flapping dicky is flapping and it's terrifying. It's absolutely fucking terrifying and and I hope that none of you guys will ever have to see that again. What do you think, Sandra Slow and Steady? Are you going to actually go do your job going to empty trash can? Which is one word. Way to go, Sandra Slow and Steady. I do appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, maybe, you know, now that I think about it, I thought that was such a good idea to have um, different hemispheres. Uh, guests would like a place to sit and eat. Oh, my God. Look! Is anyone sitting in these? No one's sitting there. No one's sitting there. No one's buying anything from any of these guys. Why aren't these guys? Ugh. Anyways, but now that I remember there's only two different themes, I, I'm suddenly less excited about the idea. I never actually thought about that before. Um, but I do know that I want to have like a, um, like a Main Street USA uh, hemisphere. And maybe we'll do that. We'll do that this quickie session. So let's go up here. And Main Street, USA, there's the Safari Zone. I kind of want it to be halfway between Maya Hem Temple and uh, Safari Zone. So we'll have Main Street, USA. Um, maybe we'll have it, in fact, even... Uh, we'll have it be over here. Yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. We'll have it over there. I was kind of thinking that it would go like... Um, there. I would have roads going to either side of the Gimsbach exhibit, but... Or you know what? Well, you know what? We, we could do that in time, but but first let's do this. 
we will have it go straight out from here so that um, when you're leaving um, Main Street USA, um, you just if you just walk in a straight line, you'll just go straight smack dab right into the immersive, the fully, completely immersive Gimsbach exhibit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that looks quite nice. That looks quite jolly. Quite jolly. Um, uh, I guess we'd like a place to sit and eat. Yeah, you know what? Fine. We'll we'll remedy that. Um, we'll, we'll because we'll have another promenade here. Of course, we'll have another fucking promenade. And this is the one where we're gonna have everything that I've ever dreamed of. We're gonna have the family restaurant. We're gonna have the gazebo. It's gonna be fucking Main Street USA. And of course, it will all be bankrolled by those rocks that I just sold. Can I get rid of this grass? Yeah, this fucking weird ass grass. Get out of here. But no one asked for you. I didn't put you there. Okay. So let's see what kind of buildings we got. Um, and also, let's think of what kind of pad we want to put it on. We've got pads that we've never used before. Stone path? I'm pretty sure we've never used the stone path. We've used the br the brick path. Have we used the brick path? I can't remember if we've used the brick path yet or not. Um, that looks like that's stone to me. Right? Oh, let's let's dare to compare. Let's dare to compare. What's the brick path look like? Okay, yeah, it's different. Okay, and that'll be perfect for Main Street USA. Way to go. Man, our penguins are just like dying left and right. What the fuck, penguins? Jesus. Show a little show a little backbone. Show a little backbone. Maybe if you guys would get on the fucking treadmill every once in a while, you guys would quit dying of old age. Um and it's beginning yeah and, and I didn't want to mention it, penguins, but it's beginning to affect our popularity. Although it's twinkling and I don't detect any motion within the stars themselves, so I don't I don't I don't I actually don't know what's going on with that, but regardless, here comes Main Street USA. I, I am actually going to um get rid of this asphalt. Let's see. Because I like this brick much better. And this is gonna be a nice broad one because we're gonna have a lot of crazy shit. We're gonna have all of the like uh the plane carts um that we well, actually, we've got all of the plane carts already in, uh... In, uh, Disappointment Plaza, but that's okay. Um, oh boy, I messed this up. Here we go. <laughs> um, but we can, we can do duplicates, because apparently it's not, it's not fucking enough for these people. It's not enough for the people of Bakersfield, for the disgusting, fat people of Bakersfield, like 17,000 cheesecake carts. There's still not enough cheesecake carts. They demand... They have an in unquenchable thirst for cheesecake carts, and and I'll be the first to say I don't like it, but I will, I will deal with it. I will adapt. I will survive. Family restaurant, and this is one of the things that I was most excited about by having different hemispheres, because I was imagining that each hemisphere would have its own family restaurant, and each family restaurant would have its own different theme. Um, but we'll we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll have we'll have this one family restaurant anyways. I think we'll put it there. And um, if we're typically um, if we're typically oriented, let's see how are we typically oriented? We're typically oriented this way, right? So um, how does this look? How does this look from our typical orientation? Let's see here. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking would happen. So we will have the uh, family restaurant there, and then we will have some other fun, exciting activities over on this other side. Um, for instance, the petting zoo, which I have been oh, the Shetland pony ride. Even better. Um, I've been very excited to build this. Uh, so perfect. This is our opportunity. There's the Shetland pony ride. What do we have to install ponies or something? Are they just going to be clomping around on brick? I don't like that. I'm sorry, Shetland Pony Ride. I'm I'm so sorry that I put you in a um in a in a in a habitat that is not conducive to um pony rides. Oh god. And, and I'm so sorry that this fucking bulldoze tool is such a piece of shit. Oh god, I keep burping. Oh, by the way, um I actually did look it up um so that I could figure out how to say beverage um do session instead of it being beverage du jour, because of course, as I mentioned in a previous video, beverage du jour means beverage of the day, but this is really more of a beverage of the session. So I looked it up, and as best as I could figure, um, French, to say session in French, you would say session. 
<laughs> I looked it up. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And to tell you the truth, it would not surprise me at all if that is actually true. So um, the beverage due session, um, I, w I will, in instead of saying beverage du jour, I will now say beverage due session. And please hold me to my word. That is a big zoo boss guarantee, which of course is as good as a golden shower. Which I don't have to tell you guys is pretty fucking sweet. Um, you know what? But I'll tell you what really sucks dick is these paths. I want them. I don't want them in this pasture. That's I, When I think pony rides, I don't think brick paths. Can I very, very delicately... Okay. Oh my god, that pigeon almost flew right in front of my bulldozer tool. I almost just completely demolished that pigeon. I'm... I, I would apologize, but he should have known better. He should have known that I'm a big zoo boss, and I have a big zoo bulldozer. Um, these paths, no matter what I do, they're going to be like half half in the pasture, which pisses me off, but um, I'll work around it. Uh, we will have some dirt, right? There we go. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think pony rides. Dirt. There we go. Man, wouldn't it be tight if you could customize the fence on the pony rides? Holy fucking shit, that would be tight. Ooh, or, or if you could change the animals in the, why isn't this working? Why isn't this going? I'm holding it down. Um, if you could change the animals, if you could do like, um, camel rides, for instance, everyone, en I know everyone enjoys a good camel ride. Um, I remember going to a zoo, uh, when I was a kid and, uh, getting to ride on a camel and it was very, very, very uncomfortable, but, you know, how often do you get to say you, you got to ride on a camel? Like, fucking never. You know what, and now that I'm looking at this, I'm realizing that I was intending for it to be facing the family restaurant. But you know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'm, I spent, like, I already spent, like, 17 minutes um, just putting it there. Um, compost building, staff center, oh, that's another thing that I want to put in. Okay, first of all, what the fuck is a staff center? I want to understand what a staff center does. The staff center is the building your zoo staff, including zookeepers, animal educators, and maintenance workers, will return to when they have no active assignments or pressing tasks. Holy shit, Sandra Slow and Steady, it's your fucking dream come true. You're gonna have like a little clubhouse. There's a ladder, what? There's a, there's like a watch post, there's a crow's nest. What the fuck kind of place is this? That's nuts. I cannot wait. I, I have got to put that down this session. I cannot fucking wait for that. Um, so let's trick out this um, Shetland pony ride. Let's put some benches uh, so that the uh, so that the moms can like um, the moms can just like sit here and uh, gossip about like who they think is having an affair uh, and like whatever the hell it is that moms talk about. I really don't know. Let's will that work? Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. They can like sit there and Emperor Penguin. Oh my God! Oh, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting to that part of the game, guys. It's getting to that part of the game, and all the moms can just sit here on these benches and like um, their kids will be like screaming in horror. Uh, metal food trough. What metal food trough? Why can't you reach that? Why can you not reach that? There, go, fill it up. Pooh keeper of Arabia. <laughs> How can you not reach that? There's a gate. I know there's a fucking gate. Where's the gate? I'm gonna show you the gate right there. Right? Where's the gate? There's the gate right there. Right fucking there. There's the gate. There is no reason for you to be unable. Thank you so much. Are you gonna refill that one? Thank you so much, Pooh Keeper of Arabia. And you know what? I fully expect you to be unable to find your way out of the Savannah exhibit. I fully expect you to die in there. But before you die, you need to keep those rhinoceroses fed, and you need to keep those rhinoceroses water. That is what your life means to me. So anyways, the kids will be riding the Shetland pony rides, and they will be um, screaming in absolute horror, uh, because no child ever wants to be strapped to the back of some kind of a horrible snorting beast. They'll be screaming in terror, and their moms will just be sitting out here on the benches, just being like, hi! Hi, Dakota. Hi. Guests love your zoo. You're damn right they love my zoo. And um, to drive the point home, um, what kind of foliage shall we have around the... Uh... Oh, shit. You know what... Oh! 
1,000 guests have visited your zoo. You've been given the zoo attendance 1,000 ribbon. Well, holy shit. Oh, you know what? While we're in here, let's look at our graphs. Uh, profit. Well, we just started building a bunch of shit. Donations have been... Uh, man, what happened in May? Gwers. Gwers. I... <laughs> I was, um, I got, I got mixed up. I was going to say either g Wiz or Jeepers, and I just wound up saying g Uh, monthly attendance has been, like, the overall trend is upward, but for some reason, it's like, there are these weird dips in the middle. I don't know why. Um, uh, monthly fame rating. Okay, and, but our fame has definitely been, been steadily increasing. I just realized that I can, like, put anything that I want in the middle of the Shetland pony ride. So like, what would happen if I put a, nope, that won't fit. What would happen if I, uh, what would happen if I, oh no, wait a minute. Date palm tree? Date palm tree? No, I can't put anything down, man. I was gonna put like fucking, I was just gonna fill it with rocks. <laughs> Yeah, I see Emperor Penguin 11 is in a really dirty exhibit, but these zookeepers have to fucking do it. They have to fucking learn. God damn it. Am I gonna have to hire another fucking zookeeper? Okay, let's just go check. Let's just go check and see on the penguin exhibit to see if there's anyone even there. There is, there's a zookeeper right there. The Eastside King herself. In fact, there's two zookeepers in there. Poo poo pockets, there's poo poo pockets, go figure. Um, raking up the poo. That uh, he, rape, raking up the poo that he loves to fill his pockets with. Um, are all of our jaguars dead? Now that I think about it, no, we've still got some jaguars. Can we can we restock the jaguar gene pool yet? No, not at all. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I fucking hate those jaguars. I can't wait for them to all die. Um, so let's get some let's let's get some trees. Let's get some shade trees um, to shade all of the screaming children. Uh, birch trees. Camel thorn. Um, I want like a, uh, what kind of, oh, you know what? Yeah, let's look at grassland. Let's see what kind of grass, okay, we have one. We have the trembling aspen. Let's see what other kind of American looking trees we've got. Temperate forest. Hey, maple tree. Oh my God, that. Oh yes, oh yes. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. I'm gonna have to extend it out one more, but that is totally fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so nice. Those trees are beautiful. I never thought, I never thought to, um, to, um, constrain, uh, my, my tree selection to, like, specific biomes. Because in all of these nice little promenade areas, I want them to look like little, um, like little, like little America towns. You know, so I want to have like little America trees, but but it's hard to recognize that a certain tree is American just from uh, just from the picture. I never thought just just a stroke of genius, just a stroke of genius. Zookeeper can't reach Nile Crocodile three. The Prince of Persia is now pregnant. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna have a lot of fucking crocodiles in here. You know, I kind of maybe this session. Oh yeah, maybe this session we can um, extend out the crocodile exhibit. I'm really enjoying this crocodile exhibit. And I am worried that there's not enough land for uh, the zookeepers to, uh, to navigate efficiently. Um, geez, that one really needs hygiene though. I'm gonna give these crocodiles a scrub. Now these crocodiles, I'm a little bit cooler with. Um, scrub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub. There you go, crocodiles. I hope you're fucking happy. And um, I think I saw a thing for poop. Poop, there's the poop. I just refilled some meat. Oh yeah, there we go. They're doing their trademark wall walks. Guests are thirsty. That's fine. Um, okay, sure. I'm not gonna get distracted again. Here we go. We're working on this. Uh, we've got one family restaurant. Um, now, let's get, uh, oh shit. Yes, no, let's get some carts. Let's get some fucking carts.